help? Spanish. You're taking 12th grade calculus? Yeah, I like math. Ew, why? Because it's the same in every country. It's beautiful. This girl is deep. Hey, you're the Africa girl, right? Yeah. I'm Kevin Apoor, captain of the North Shore Mathletes. We participate in math challenges against other high schools around the state, and we can get twice as much funding if we've got a girl. So you should think about joining. Oh, you'd be perfect for it. Yeah, definitely. Great, great. Let me give you my card. OK, so uh, think it over, because we'd like to get jackets. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Two weeks later, we spoke again. It's raining. Yeah. But I wanted things to move faster, so I followed my instincts. Hey, um, I'm totally lost. Can you help me? But I wasn't lost. Yeah. I knew exactly what Miss Norbury was talking about. It's a factorial, so you multiply each one by n. Wrong. Is that the summation? Yeah, they're the same thing. Wrong. He was so wrong. Thanks. I, uh, I get it now. <laughs> okay. See you guys tomorrow. We're having a Halloween party at my friend Chris's tonight. You want to come? Yeah, sure. Great. Here's where it is. It's a costume party. People get pretty into it. Okay. That flyer admits one person only, so don't bring some other guy with you. Cruel. I meant to say cool, and then I started to say great. Right. Well, cruel. See you tonight. Hey, Africa. You staying for the Mathletes meeting? Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I lied. But I had to go home and work on my costume. I was finding any excuse I could to talk to Aaron. I don't get this. Do you get any of this? Nice job, Katie. Kind of seems like you get it. If I was going to keep this going, I was going to have to really commit. Not your best. Damn, Africa, what happened? How'd you do? Not so good. You know, I think I need a tutor. I'll tutor you if you ever want to get together after school or something. Do you think Regina would mind? No, you guys are friends. Well, maybe we just won't tell her. So, what did you get for this one? Well, the first time I did it, I got a zero. Wrong. But then when I checked it, I got one. There you go. I got one, too. Yeah, you have to, um, you have to check it because sometimes the product of two negative integers is a positive number. Yeah, like negative four, negative six. That's right. That's good. Well, you're a good tutor. <laughs> Man, um, look, I, I can't do this. Katie, I need your parents to sign this so they know that you're failing. <sighs> failing? You know what's weird about your quizzes, Katie, is that all the work is right and just the answers are wrong. Really? Really. Katie, I know that having a boyfriend may seem like the most important thing in the world right now, but... You don't have to dumb yourself down to get guys to like you. How would you know? I know. How would I know, right? I'm divorced. I'm broke from getting divorced. The only guy that ever calls my house is Randy from Chase Visa. I you know why? Because I'm a pusher. I push people. I pushed my husband into law school. That was a bust. I pushed myself into working three jobs. And now I'm going to push you, because I know you're smarter than this. Thanks, Miss Norbury. And if there's anything I can do for extra credit, please let me know. Oh, I will. Then there was Miss Norbury, who is living proof that no good deed goes unpunished. Oh, hi. Did you want to buy some drugs? I'm just done with my quiz. Wait, I'll grade it right now. I gotta say, watching the police search my house really was the cherry on top of a fantastic year. How much trouble did you get in for telling the truth? A lot. Well, you didn't write that whole book yourself. Did you tell Mr. Duvall who else did it? No, because I'm trying this new thing where I don't talk about people behind their backs. That's right. Getting hit by a bus is pretty good punishment. 94. 
Welcome back, nerd. Thanks. Anyway, I'm sorry. I forgive you. But as my own personal form of punishment, I figured out how you're going to earn that extra credit. What's up? Excellent. Great turnout this year. All right. It's all you. Okay. Make me look good out there. Okay. Mary Mount, you sons of bitches. You no good sons of bitches. You nervous? Yes. Don't be. You can do this. There's nothing to break your focus, because not one of those Mary Mount boys is cute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Illinois High School Mathlete State Championship. Let's start the competition. Here is the first question. Twice the larger of two numbers is three more than five times the smaller, and the sum of four times the larger and three times the smaller is 71. What are... North Shore? 14 and 5. That is correct. Question number two. Find an odd three-digit number whose digits add up to 12. The digits are all different, and the difference between the first two digits equals the difference between... Marymount. 741. Correct. Question Shoot, I was really rusty. After 87 minutes of very competitive play, we have a tie. In the event of a tie, we move into a sudden death round. Each team is given the opportunity to choose their opponent. North Shore, who do you select? The girl, dude. The girl. Contestant Kraft. For Marymount, Ms. Carolyn Kraft. We pick the girl, too. And from North Shore, Ms. Caddy Heron. It's Katie. Oh my God, that's me. Ms. Carolyn Kraft seriously needed to pluck her eyebrows. Her outfit looked like it was picked out by a blind Sunday school teacher. And she had some 99 cent lip gloss on her snaggle tooth. And that's when I realized Making fun of Carolyn Kraft wouldn't stop her from beating me in this contest. Contestants, find the limit of this equation. Calling somebody else fat won't make you any skinnier. Calling someone stupid doesn't make you any smarter. And ruining Regina George's life definitely didn't make me any happier. All you can do in life is try to solve the problem in front of you. The limit is negative one. Oh crap, I lost. That answer is incorrect. Now we are in a sudden death if Miss Heron can answer this problem correctly, we have a winner. Limits, why couldn't I remember anything about limits? Limits, that was the week Aaron got his hair cut. Oh God, he looks so cute. Okay, focus, Katie. What was on the board behind Aaron's head? If the limit never approaches anything, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! Our new state champions, the North Shore Math Leeds. <laughs> You like me now! You like that? Yeah! Get some! Get some! Awesome! You win with the leather sleeves. Africa, you did the damn thing. Thanks. Ah, thanks, KG. You're gonna look so kick ass in these when we roll into Spring Fling. No, oh, no, I'm not going. What? Katie, this is your night. Don't let the haters stop you from doing your thing. Did you just say thing? Katie, you don't have to punish yourself forever. But I'm grounded. You're already out. <laughs> 